slow cooker. It's full of meat and it's rotting, it's blown. Good girls Prue and Michelle are off to do something no property manager ever wants to do, remove a troublesome tenant from a property. He said, I am the king. I own this land and I own this house. And I said, what? <laughs> he said, again, who's the king? I said, so you don't have to pay rent? No, I don't have to pay rent. And I said, well, I'm not listening to this shit and you've got 48 hours and we will be back with locksmiths and we got in the car and drove away. So we're popping down to see the king. At the castle in question, the drawbridge is up. I'm holding the door shut. <laughs> Are you holding the door shut? No, he's got something up against it, I'd say. The king may think he's safe inside the castle keep, but these two fair maidens are breaching his defences one way or another. <laughs> At Trust Property Management Wellington, breaking news has the team on high alert. An Airbnb customer in the Trust building itself has flooded the laundry right upstairs from the office. So it's pretty wet. Someone has moved the washing machine around and taken the, the drain hose out um, of the drain into the super tub and put it into the lower hole where the water pipes come through. How far has it gone? The water's gone everywhere. Jared estimates 75 litres is underfoot. So, yeah, it's come into the room a little bit. But what would cause a coronary in other property managers is water off a duck's back for Jared. We're going to probably need to pull up the carpet. Yeah, so this is kind of the worst area, but I'll be making sure that we get this wash machine um, drain hose a little bit um, uh, better connected so, uh, so guests can't go playing with it and putting, uh, moving the wash, wash machine out and then putting the drain in the wrong place. No sooner has Jared left to get his tools than he's requested to attend yet another flood at another of his properties. So it's into the mighty Trust Mobile and off to Johnsonville. In Christchurch, Prue and Michelle have gone to check if a tenant evicted for not paying rent in months has actually gone. He thinks by proclaiming himself king, he won't have to pay. He'll have to think again. The good girls can't keep knocking. People are trying to sleep around here. Where's a locksmith when you need one? There's one, the guru of getting in, Patrick from Access. Hello? Oh, it's Hello? After gaining entry, it appears the king wasn't behind the door. It was simply jammed. Although the power's on. But the good girls suspect their tenant could be hiding in any number of filthy corners. Hello? They seek him here. Oh, dang. They seek him there. The smell, honestly. They seek him everywhere. Yeah. Do you think he's hiding in there? You see it on those TVs when they have the big drums and they mash the body in or they cut it up and mash it in and then they pour in, what is it, Pro? Um, you know, acid and dissolve them according to, um, you know, what's that show? Silent Witness. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, the tenant is not dissolving quietly in a barrel in the garage and he's clearly not in residence in the flat but multiple signs are pointing to a king refusing to be exiled. It's a lot of items. Then... Holy moly moly. Michelle spies legal documents. <laughs> I think we only need this, this letter. It's the A-Lord Privacy Seal, Seal of New Zealand. Could it be the tenant has ignored domestic duties in favour of educating himself on his rights? Not as a king, but as a queen. A queen's council. I knew 
Aisha. What? And the privacy seal, seal of New Zealand. <laughs> the person appointed to conduct the affairs of state in the reigning sovereign. Looking around the flat, it dawns on the good girls what they're seeing. A case is being built right under their noses. Smithsonian? Where? Photocopies of legal notes from some of New Zealand's most infamous crimes. It'll be research. Textbooks, dictionaries, Greek philosophy. I prayed <laughs> for strength and then I lost a while all sense of nearness, human and divine. It's all here, including what seems to be a statement of intent. I own this property. The skies are clear over central Wellington, but for Trust Property Management's Jared, today's forecast is for a deluge of work. Interesting uh, Monday morning, come into the office, thinking I had one flood to deal with, um, and then find out that uh, late last night, the wild weather in Wellington uh, caused flooding at one of our properties, which we're heading out um, now to go and check on. Approaching the address, Jared can tell by the location it's created the perfect storm for the flooding to occur. The level of rain was pretty torrential and pretty heavy. The sheer volume of water um, and rain that was coming down, coming down the street, um, up over the drive, running down, down the drive and under the garage door. Not looking good for us at the moment. Luckily, a garage is still a garage. Hopefully, damage will be limited to some rusty tools and wet newspapers. Unluckily, this is not the case. <laughs> this changes things. This one is filled with the tenant's many personal belongings. Washers, dryers, televisions, you name it, it's here, on the floor, right in the water's path. I'll just get that off the, the wet carpet. Any potential damage to the tenant's property will need to be catalogued, as will any damage to the house. Taking some photos so we can uh, get an idea of um, of where the water came in, how far in it's come. Yeah, it's come to the laundry. There's damage at the lower parts of the walls. This stuff isn't gonna, isn't gonna dry out and um, sink back. It'll, it'll stay all soft. While particle board can be replaced, untreated native structural timber is a different story. Once wet, it can start to rot. There's water in under here. This here would usually, would usually be dry. Thankfully, it's just the ground that's wet and not the wood. And Jared's pleased to report to the tenant their possessions have miraculously avoided a drenching. The rest of it will, will dry out over the next couple of days if it stays nice and warm like this. Thanks okay. so much for coming. Catch you later. Okay. A conversation with the owner about future weatherproofing is now on Jared's to-do list. The only sort of long-term damage was the very bottom of uh, some of the walls in the garage. Um, if it is an issue for the owner, we can put a, um, uh, put a skirting board um, over it and it would tidy it up. But for now, it's back to Trust HQ where he's got another flood on his hands. And this time, it's coming through the light fittings. A lot of water coming through it and it's dangerous. In the concrete jungle of Christchurch... I own this property. It appears a newly self-minted bush lawyer tenant is challenging a tenancy tribunal decision that allowed good girls Prue and Michelle to chuck him out of his castle. Amicus Pope Papal. King. King or otherwise, it's not the tenant's house or his castle. It's a pigsty. Don't think the plug fits, hence the toys from oh. the Christmas crackers from last year. And I don't know if I'd really want to look at that bog, if you know what I mean. Things are bad enough. A king-sized dump in the Royal Dalton is the last thing Prue wants to see. But she can smell and she can hear blow flies. There's a slow cooker. Slow cooker. It's full of meat and it's rotting, it's blown. Oh! Oh, that's terrible! That was terrible! That was dreadful of me, that's... Maggots. 
baguettes, there's baguettes there. This has got to stop and it's stopping now. Prue's furious. Having to change locks, clear out, clean and fumigate a property is unacceptable. That's just jumped. Yep, exactly. Old keys don't work anymore and even if he breaks his way in, he can't open the door to get out. So, oh, you have to go back out the way he came and... But he is a king. move furniture. Maybe he can get some subjects to help him. If the tenant turns up now, he runs the risk of a severe mauling by the big cats of Christchurch Property Management. Let's get out of here. We need tea, we need water. We do, we need showers. Yeah. As Prue and Michelle go to leave, guess who's just turned up? The Smoke King King himself, and he wants to know why a locksmith is in the driveway. You didn't pay your rent? I own that for. Get a grip. Get with the program. In Wellington, Trust Property Manager Jared has had to rush back to Trust HQ. Hello, it's Jared. Renters under the flat with the laundry flood noticed it was raining inside. Outside, the weather's fine, so they knew something was up. So this is where the water from upstairs has come through. Looks as though it's just around um, the hallway cupboards. The tenants have made a good fist of trying to minimise the damage, but this is going to require all Jared's workmanship to put right. We're possibly going to have to lift some of the carpet. I can see there's water coming out through the light fitting and it's dangerous. Fixing the issues will be no mean feat, but thankfully the guests are out shopping for rare vinyl. The carpet contractors are on the way, as is an electrician to sort out the lights. OK, get the wet back and some tools to lift up the, the carpet. You've heard of property tycoons, Jared's a property typhoon. Look at the Hannibal Lecter of house repair go to work. Need to get this out so we can get it dried out. You can see how much water this stuff holds. Got the bulk of that apartment sorted. It's looking like early refreshments upstairs with the team at Trust. But a few days later, as Jared's lads lay the now dry carpet, We've uh, got the guys from Precision Flooring. Disaster. The Sparky, Jared's book to fix the light fitting, cancels. Suddenly and luckily, Jared remembers he's a fully qualified electrician. Two have wired this, wired it the wrong way around. Shin has been a bit lazy. Lazy isn't a word in the trust vocabulary. Job done. Perfect. Carpet guys are finished. I've tidied up, put the doors on, and uh, uh, the place is back to normal. In Christchurch, a confrontation of epic proportions has just taken place on the forecourt of a block of flats. You didn't pay your rent? I own that property. Oh, bullshit. Good girls, property managers Prue and Michelle have just given their ex-tenant a stern talking to. We know it quite well, don't we? We do. Yeah, we for do. utterly desecrating a formerly livable two-bedroom unit. Get with the program. Outnumbered two to one, and now locked out, the King in Exile leaves to seek out a new palace. It's back to the office to change outfits and colour coordinate before heading back to the Kingdom of Filth to start the clean-up process. Associate Raywin's eyes are going to be out on stalks when she hears about this. It looks like someone picked up that flat, turned it upside down and then put it all back down again. That's right. Raywin offers to come along for moral support, but also because she has a very high tolerance for bad smells and the constitution of an ox. I have a very sensitive nose that I inherited from my grandmother. OK, I've got to go in. Prue notices someone broken while she was away, taking documentation and leaving ventilation. Nonetheless, this rental's got Raywin retching and Prue reaching for an ashtray. My cease and desist for not smoking really was heard and understood. While Prue is engrossed with the detritus of a grubby existence, outside there's salvation. Bruce from Junkman Limited is on site to help work out what can be kept for the king and what can be thrown. We'll have a look and see if there's anything reasonable here yeah. and then we'll store it here. OK, is that yeah, right? great. Yeah, mainly, probably his arm, I'd keep Yeah, we won't touch his arm. Yeah. 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 yeah.
The good girl's preferred cleaning company has its work cut out. This job is on a scale of mounting Everest backwards on a bike. You don't laugh, mate, you cry. That's really what happens. But these guys can do. <laughs> this dark and dingy dungeon is going to rise from the cigarette ashes into a wholesome blank canvas. Two days later, Prue's back. <laughs> Beat Street. Very good coffee. The flat's been decluttered, deloused, and most importantly, deodorized. We're in. So when one considers what this actually looked like, it is amazing. Um, now the dross, maggots, and the seething and saturating food and that was here has gone. The oven has been cleaned. It certainly is fantastic. The carpet's cleaned. Oh, much better. This former poo smell palace is now fit for a genuine king or queen of Christchurch. Even the throne is fit for a royal bottom. Right, I can lock up, find a tenant.